Oh, hi guys. So just a quick one. I just got back in the car just in time. It's been raining sort of on and off um, all day. And I thought, let's go out, stuff it. Let's take the RX-10 out, get that wet. And um, yeah, it's now wet. Working absolutely fine. I'm still in the car up in there. Uh, yeah, so it's been sort of steady rain, but not very hard. And now it's just picked up the pace a bit. So I literally just walked back to the car and you know, it's chucking it down now. So that was good timing. Got some cool shots. The sea was literally very, very calm, very blue. Um, low cloud, bit of mist and everything, looked really nice. Not many people around, there's a few, but not a huge amount. A few nutters walking up in not very much waterproof clothing. Yeah, I can't speak, waterproof clothing. Um, obviously I didn't really bother, got a wind, wind stopper on, but um, I knew I was only a minute away from the car or anything, but they're sort of maybe half an hour to an hour, uh, you know, away from a car, depending where they're walking. I actually met, I think it was three or four guys, maybe maybe five, Australian guys, so hi guys, I think one was Jack, um, hopefully he's followed me on Instagram now, and uh, so there's a little mention, hope you didn't get too soaked because it's literally chucking it down now, and I know I left you guys heading up to the Bell Toot Lighthouse, and that's a good mile or so away from here, so yeah, and they've got to walk to Eastbourne Station, so a bit of a wander, uh, and there's not much shelter up here, um, so yeah, hope you got back alright guys. Um, yeah, other than that, it's yeah, just some interesting shots. Um, a bit of a bit of HFR on the rain droplets hits hitting the sea. A little bit of crashing waves. Uh, a few wildlife shots, as in a seagull. Um, there wasn't much about really. So yeah. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Hope you enjoy the video, and um, please check out my other stuff as well. I shall see you soon. Hi guys, I've just come down to Beachy Head Way. The water is as calm as you like. A little bit of a, a little bit of wave, but not not really. Chucking down with rain. I thought, well, it still might look quite cool. Actually, when you look that way, a bit of sea mist, very low cloud going on. So, I thought, well, take the Oryx sent out. Get it a bit wet, take a few photos, and see if they can actually capture anything interesting. Maybe a little bit of slow motion. I don't know. We shall see. Really calm though, bizarre, but you can see the water, rain. You can actually see it. It is raining. Not heavily, no, it's steady, but it might look quite cool, a little bit of HFR. So, yeah, kind of cool. A little bit of moody cloud as well. And what I'll do is I'll drive up further up the road in a bit, maybe get some shots through the, down to the lighthouse, because that's probably half covered in mist. As you can see, the water's nice and clear. You can see out to about a metre deep, I'd imagine, something like that. It's nice. Well, let's see if we can do some raindrops. It's not really raining a huge amount, but there's a little bit out here that's slightly deeper. A little bit of HFR. As you can see there, the RX-10 is getting wet there. I always carry a cloth in my bag and basically what I do is I always just dry the barrel, the lens barrel that zooms out before I turn the camera off and it's been absolutely fine for over three and a half years now. As you can see here, a little bit of HFR, um, either at 250 frames per second or 500 frames per second. And just quite interesting seeing the water bouncing back up where you don't actually see it go in because you're actually watching the other ones that are coming up. So. It's uh, it's got almost an optical illusion that uh, the water is sort of draining out as the, as the uh, waves are coming in. I think the tide was starting to go out, and here I think we can see a little bit of sand being sort of washed about in the water there, and a bit of a wave. Uh, it was 
yeah quite interesting and as you can see here just a wave crashing in just a bit of fun really I love the slow motion stuff um, you know sometimes it's better than other times but it's always worth having a go and have a little experimentation there this one the exposure was a little bit out I actually should have uh, sped the shutter speed up or stopped down slightly as you can see there the white piece of chalk there is a little bit blown out which is uh, a little bit of a shame and then we saw this seagull well I saw a seagull he was just bobbing around he's on his own and I thought he's gonna go in a minute he's watching me and um, I think if you keep watching they kind of get a bit freaked out so eventually they just just go so I thought he's gonna go um, so I did a little bit of video like as you can see here and you know he's just sitting away it's quite a bit out quite a way out there um, and then managed to capture him as he took off so 24 photos per second you can see there he's on his way out I have edited these a little bit just to make the water come out a little bit more it was quite a nice turquoisey color and you know just uh, obviously photos and video can look very different anyway but yeah he uh, he was pretty cool uh, shot these at one uh, 1250th of a second shutter speed f4 ISO 100 this is one of my favorite shots here of him just literally leaping into flight just uh, just above the water there and then literally his, his toes um, out of the water there as he's as he's lifting off and then the next one is um, probably the best one I think is he's just peeking out behind his wings there and the water splashing up behind him and off, obviously off he went uh, so that's pretty cool so that, that 24 photos per second is is a real benefit because you can basically pick and choose whichever you want as you can see there mist into the distance um, quite a few people around but not too many it was quite quite pleasant um, as you can see they're shooting through the mist not ideal because obviously it's raining and it's misty um, so your quality of the image can obviously degrade a little bit and then pushing up into the top of the cliffs there the same a little bit grainy but that's just down to the light quality and the actual air quality because obviously you're shooting through uh, mist looking out to sea um, don't see it like this very tall and that's the color is was lovely absolutely stunning colors uh, the water very rarely is it like this it's normally a gray horrible moody um, looking water as you can see there a few people huddling underneath the umbrellas it's quite breezy up the top of the uh, the steps there on top of the cliffs but as you went down you're actually sheltered because it was actually blowing out to sea rather than in inland so basically when you were down below the cliff line it wasn't too bad at all yeah it was still raining as you can see there don't know what that lady was having her arms up in the air for but um, that was quite funny the uh, cliffs there through the mist quite hard to actually focus on because just because it was just very difficult for me even to see let alone the camera uh, as you came round to the right hand side where you can see more cliffs but actually clearer focusing absolutely fine so you know it was it was great uh, wide angle shot there quite a moody sky but the the water is just this turquoisey sort of bluey color where I guess all of the silt and everything sunk down as it's been quite calm walking around the other side now about a mile down coat on the coast uh, up to where that you can see beachy head itself which you'll see now when I zoom in there we go looking at the lighthouse there, there we go and also the random things that I've never seen before looks like a fish and a man with his arms up in there not really sure made out of metal I believe uh, couldn't see it from this side so I went round up the top looking down um, there's a corner here where there's actually some fence posts and everything you can sort of uh, you know make sure you're relatively safe and don't fall off um, but you can see the colour there it was absolutely lovely the, the weather was actually the light was bizarre it was a really weird thing shooting through the mist there see a, a boat cruising along could hear it but couldn't find it and then suddenly it appeared out of the mist so you know um, camera settings anywhere between ISO 100 to 400, 400 mostly. Um, at f2.4, I was up to like a thousandth of a second or, or more. Um, but obviously, when I stopped it down to f5.6, I was down to around about one two fiftieth of a second or two hundredth of a second. Uh, top of the lighthouse there, zoomed in. So, nothing hugely interesting, but still quite cool. I never get bored of this area. It's one of my favourite places to visit. It's just a large expanse of basically green and, and obviously the beach and everything it was just a peaceful place um, lovely to walk in and uh, you know even if it's busy there's plenty of space for everyone to just sort of you know chill or whatever um, looking across the farm through the mist and then the other lighthouse bell toot lighthouse which was actually slid back from the left so imagine the lighthouse being right on the edge of the cliff they actually slid it back about 20 odd years ago um, and then just to show you it was actually really raining cars soaking wet 
and in the back of the uh, the car as well. Um, and it's crazy back windscreen, but quite cool. And the colour of the uh, the tint and everything on there. But anyway, guys, um, I hope that was relatively interesting. Um, I just like to document my day really. Um, if it in th you know gives people inspiration to get out with the camera, even if it is raining, don't worry too much if your camera gets wet. The RX10 Mark IV is plenty, you know, capable of using it in the rain a little bit here or there. Um, so yeah, just take a towel with you or a cloth just to wipe it down occasionally. And it's absolutely fine. So anyway, guys, I shall see you soon. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, the little notification bell as well, and uh, cheerio.